It's Brian here from You're Digging at Metal Detecting. It's uh, Monday, June 17th. I'm out here at the park. I have found old stuff here before at the park, but so far today, just a couple no cash value tokens. I was here Friday night and pretty much got skunked. I also picked up uh, two other no cash value tokens. Got like a little Grateful Dead pendant. Not much else. Let's hope things pick up. All right, I just found a spot where I dug back-to-back -back Wheaties. One of them, I believe, says 1919. The other one I didn't get a date off of yet. So maybe I got a spot that wasn't hit yet too hard. Let's be hopeful. All right, this wasn't on my bucket list, but it's a first. Got a Stanley tape measure. All right, just pulled this little piece at first. I thought it was a piece of uh, bottle cap shrapnel. But then upon closer inspection, I see that it's a pin. So something to investigate. Cool. All right, it's Brian back here. It's uh, Tuesday now, the 18th of June. Out here at the park, I just dug my first good target of the day and my first uh, really old V-nickel in a while. It's been a few months since I got a V-nickel. Thought it was a buffalo. I just started to see that V come through as it dries out. Happy to have it. Don't have a date yet. I have to let it dry up a little more and see what we got here. Sunday morning, I'm out at the park here today with Jim and Dell. Trying to scrape up some stuff out of this old park. Dell is on the board with a 1907 Indian head scent. So far I've just found uh, modern coinage and bottle caps. Good job, Dell. Thank Fist you. Pump. Thank you. Good job. All right, Dell just pulled that uh, Indian head scent out of this hole and he still has another signal. Trash. Trash. Okay, moving on. Oil. <laughs> but it rang out good. Welcome to park hunting. Where you can get Indian head scents right next to memorials or modern trash. Alright, just pulled my first older coin today. It's a weedy. And it's an old weedy. It's a 1909. 110 year old coin. Can't really tell right here if it has the VDB on it. If it did, that would be my first one of those. Let's see what else we can find. All right, I've dug spoons before, I've dug knives before, and I've dug uh, forks before. At first I thought this was a spatula, but I'm thinking this is a unpressed uh, flat from the factory to be converted into a fork or spoon or something. There's no markings on it. Very interesting.
<laughs> First silver at least. Awesome. It's a one dime game. Oh really? We didn't look at much more past that. Do you have some uh, water? No, I don't. I do. You got yours? Of course. I picked I up a 1909 wheat. I got Dr. Jerry. I got a 1911 and a 1918 wheat. I also had a 1920. Spray it? Let's go for it, yeah. Oh, that's a nice shape. Oh my god, look at that. Is that going to mint mark? Nope. No, no. That's how nice that is. This part could be seated. Oh. 1911. I believe. That's a beautiful shape. Oh, that's sweet. Dell still owns old, oldest. That yeah, like, that that's a nice uh, looking coin. That was dropped the day they got it from the bank. Let's see what, you, let's see what we found. Oh, yeah. That is really nice shape. The Barber Dime. The Barber Dime? Oh, that's cool. 1911. That's cool. Wow. How far can they detect? How far down can they detect those? Well, it depends on how big. If it's a big item, it'll go down a long way. Something like that. Oh, I got the call. Looks like we got something in the situation over here? Yeah, it's probably a Rosie. I don't think so. You don't think so? Uh, no. No, it's definitely old. Oh, that's real old. I think it's a barber. Who's going to clean it? Go ahead. No, it's yours. You hold it and I'll spray it. Little Dr. Jerry's? Dr. Jerry's coin squeezins. When only the finest in coin squeezins will do. That ain't no rosy. No. Is it another one dime game? Oh, it is. It is in nice shape. Well, this is in nice shape of his. Is there a mint on it? Barber. Barber. Nice. Gotta love these old parks. See what it is? Nineteen ten, maybe sixteen or ten. Hmm. Right, go this way, make a shadow on it. I think it's a ten. Ten? No, sixteen. Right. Sixteen. Yeah. Uh, what, what does it need to be an S? Yeah. I think you want the D. Really? Is the for, better for barber? Not sure. Nothing. Am I already out? No. Sweet. Nice. Good job. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, sir. All right, Jim and Dell, thanks for inviting me. We're going to do the uh, sidewalk curb wrap up. I think we, between the three of us, in a few hours, we have eight 100 year old coins. I had the 1909. Uh, wheat scent and a 1913 wheat scent to go along with the 1911 barber. What do you have there, Jim? Uh, one of those is a 11, I think one's an 18. And this looks like maybe part of a cuff link, possibly. Cool. I didn't find anything really in the relic range. Just coins. Modern coinage and old coinage. And Dell? I got a 1917 Reedy. 1907 Indian and I don't recall what was that barber? 16. Uh, 1916. 1916. So you take the oldest with the 1907. I take the first with the barber and uh, we tied for most with one. <laughs> All I got was a rock. Yeah, right. uh, not a bad day in my book.
You guys can keep digging. I got to take off. Okay. All right, quick little wrap up here of the last few hunts. I got out um, early in the week after work. Two different hunts, I got two uh, arcade style tokens. Both of them were spills. These two one night, these two another night. One of them says a uh, coin meter token. The other three say no cash value. Um, just typical modern tokens used in an arcade, probably from the 80s or 90s. Um, found this pin at the park. It's a, uh, turns out it's a fraternity pin. I think it's a little bit older. And it's a Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity. And then uh, the night after that, I did have one good find here with the uh, V-Nickel. Turns out it's 1903. Doing great with nickels this year. I think that's the third V-Nickel I have this year at least. And then Sunday was uh, my hunt of the week. Got out with my friends uh, Jim and Dell, hit an old city park, and uh, when it was all said and done, when I when I wrapped up at the park, we were at eight coins that were 100 years old, but the second I left, I left about 45 minutes before Jim and Dell, and uh, Jim said his very next target was an Indian head scent that was uh, 1869, and then they both picked up, Dell and Jim, another uh, silver coin with a mercury dime. And by, by the time it was all said and done, there was uh, 10 coins that were over 100 years old pulled out of the city park in one Sunday morning. So that's pretty good between the three of us. We always have a friendly bet. Um, who can get the oldest coin? Who's going to get the first silver? And who's going to get the most silver? It was a three-way split after I left. I ended up with the first silver with the Barber Dime. Um, Jim ended up with the oldest coin with the 1869 Indian Head Scent. And uh, when Dell added a Mercury Dime to his Barber Dime, he ended up with the most silver. And the other, one other interesting find, <laughs> turns out this does look like it's just a unpressed utensil. So, for all, anybody that watches the Stealth Diggers, and that we, we all talk about how we find spoons all the time. We've all found forks in the field. We've all found knives in the field, and we definitely find a lot of spoons. I don't know how many of us can say we found an unpressed utensil. Strange. The things you find out there, you just never know. Oh, and one other thing. Mail call. FL, F, FL Thunder. Rob from uh, FL Thunder Channel, Florida Thunder, I guess. Um, I won one of his contests and I received this uh, Franklin Half, which is great. I, it's one of my favorite coins, the Franklin Half, and 1962 is my birth year. What a great prize. Happy to have that. Thank you, Rob. And thanks to everyone for watching, and until next time, get out there, get digging, have some fun. You're digging it.